here to know better than WCW 2K23. I am here showcasing. Right. Hello everyone, welcome to WWE 2K23. This is something I'm going to wanted to bring to the global back. <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to WWE 2K23 Firefly Gaming here. Now, basically, I want to showcase what I want to bring here on to next year. But before I showcase and get on with this match, which is going to take place in the WCW, a custom arena that I had made for Monday Nitro. And it's basically going to be in the ECW venue and whatnot. And it's my creation of my WCW arena because I don't want to use the original Monday Nitro yet eventually I will switch and go back to the OG set but I want to have my own set for the time being to RP that we're trying to build back the basis of WCW and get back to where we used to be but before I get on with showcasing these two wrestlers which I will tell you who they are in moments I want to go over the good and bad news so starting off with the good news the good news is all my wrestlers that I created had stayed the same and they didn't go anywhere they didn't get deleted or erased because I had to delete this game and the reason is was because after me having mods and you know having those mods and whatnot they patched it and messed up my game so I tried everything to try to unmod the game and it it told me no. It, it knew and it took me to the 2K website every time I would load up the game. So I was like, uh, I don't know what to do. I'm probably just going to give up. And I uninstalled the game, reinstalled it after probably about a month or two um, pro and it's been about like maybe a month maybe two almost that when they patched it I just gave up didn't care and but after uninstalling it reinstalling it as I say the good news is my universe mode my creator wrestlers everything stayed the same on how the track I had it from well, where I was at before they patched it and messed up where I couldn't play my game no more. So I'm still on the track on universe mode. Everything is going smoothly. I just need to do a few more things. Now obviously all the shows and pay-per-views. I mean the show is set up but the pay-per-views ain't going to be set up until we continue and, and roll on with the ball. And then I can start creating them and have the calendar set up you know. But basically, all that's all good. And I'm on the same track that I was on before. But my my train derailed a little. And we have a problem. And we have the fire, EMS, and medical and all that. Assisting to all my down workers. Basically, all my music I have to re-import into the game. Which means I have to figure out who has what and give them what I had gave them before and whatnot because a lot of people have custom music that I had chosen for them like some of the OGs like Elijah Wolf has Baron Corbin's 80 theme um there's like people like my broadcast partner has Triple H's uh one of his 80s themes like I gotta make sure I give exactly who and what what they need so the good news is is we're still on the path to bring in this here next year but the bad news is it's going to be delayed and it's not going to be coming so probably the end of february i'm hoping to have it done if not early march worst case scenario late march but it's just a little step back i just got to take my time putting the music back into the game one by one figuring out who has what so i don't mess it up other than that we're going to get on with the showcasing. I am going to showcase my sons here in this match. And I do not have them on the card for you to see. Because they are going to be coming out. And I completely overhauled and changed how they look. Maverick 
is not a face no more. He has joined his brother on the dark side. Now they're still not friends. They're still enemies. And now they're just going to have a squash type match. Basically brother versus brother to see who is the better brother. And it's going to showcase my two creations, my oldest son, Mike Ross Jr., my youngest son, D. Maverick Maverick. And basically, they've fought from 16 to 19 many, many times. But I'm going to showcase who they are. And if you don't know who they are and never seen them before, you will see who they are. So let's get on with the showcasing. Sit back, relax. I hope you all enjoy what you see. And get ready because when the content comes, I will be here at the commentator desk and commentating during these matches. But until then, sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy my two creations and what I plan on wanting to bring here for the WCW RP. So stay tuned for this match, and I have more afterwards when the match is over. The following contest is a two out of three falls match, making his way to the ring from out of this world, weighing in at 275 pounds, Unforgiven Mike Ross Jr. And his opponent from Evansville, Indiana, weighing in at 270 pounds, the Maverick, Maverick Ross.
here is your winner, Unforgiven Mike Ross Jr. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there you had it. The little showcasing of my son's fighting. I changed them up a lot. They have gimmicks. I'm portraying like the Maverick Maverick, kind of like a Ricky Starks slash a like the rock that had the it's a Comcast and he wore like the black pants and stuff. And like he was Hollywood and whatnot. So basically kind of like a Ricky Starks or Hollywood rock plus a bad attitude and he's a heel now and then Maverick also I mean Mike Ross Jr. also still a heel and just doing face paint kind of pulling off kind of like what Malachi Black has done with the House of Black you know changing his gimmick up throwing that paint on you know other than that that was the showcasing of the match and whatnot. And as I say, the good things are I still have universe mode and all my wrestlers. So this is universe mode. So basically, let's go on with all the participants here. So basically, we have a hundred. We go here, and these are all the wrestlers. Oh no, wait. Yeah. Let me go straight to custom. Here we go. These are all the wrestlers that we have. For the show and I'm just gonna go through them right here so that way you could see if you are a OG here to the channel you probably recognize some of these people maybe or you probably don't recognize them or it's been a while and you forgot but there's a lot of OGs I have that you're gonna see return and with the OGs I obviously have RP on what they're character is and their gimmick is and whatnot and where they're from and what they portrayed as and whatnot you know just like when i do my gta rp i have my rp with my characters and the stories i want to do and basically the gimmicks and the fights they have here in universe mode will be the stories that are untold and brought out there but yeah these are all the people i have for the show and then these are all the titles I have now. It could change with some of the titles. Not all this is um, meant to be. But um, basically this is the heavyweight division. Now as I say some of these titles are subject to maybe get updated or changed personally. Or maybe I get rid of. Especially with the second women's title that you're going to see because this is the women's championship. They finally added it to the game It took them a while to add this to the fucking game. I don't know why it took them that long, but they added it finally Then we go on to the United States championship over here And these are the competitors that are inside this one then we go to the tag team division and these are the people that are in this division which I will show you the tag teams after this but these are the people in the division then you got the cruiserweight championship here for WCW these are the people here in this division then our secondary women's title which as I say may stay may go away now I downloaded it it is intercontinental on the championship but it's international but I may fix it because this was just something I downloaded and if I do continue to use this these are the people that will be inside the division if not I'll swap them and put them in with the women's championship division and that's fixing the problem then we got the television championship right here and these are all the people that are inside this division right here other than that let's go check out our tag team divisions alrighty so these are the tag team divisions here I'm just gonna go over them and these are the people that we have 
whether they're a part of just a two member team or more than two members added to the team and these are the tag team divisions that we have here for WCW now let's go check one last thing before we end the video alrighty so now we're here in the championship customizations now this title that is right here is the same exact title that we have for the 22 version which I did on a different YouTube channel and whatnot and that is none other than the WCW Honor Championship which before I stopped recording and swapped over to 23 and decided I want to do 23 and bring it over here to this channel where I did my RP for many years and bring it back which is the Honor Championship and I held that last now I may bring that back and swap that with the television title I'm not sure things are subject to change but there's that version of it then I have this version of the television title I mean, not television honor title that I made so I got two different versions and if I was to swap over to there I may have one of these that I would be able to choose from but then as of right now I got this version of the television title that I had made myself and this is one I had downloaded and if I decide to swap over to um, this one then that may be the title that's used I'm not sure which one I want to use um, I know this one has the OG plate in the middle and the strap which was the WCW television title I don't know why they haven't put this in the game yet yet they finally put the women's title <laughs> it took them long enough and then the international which basically is the intercontinental because that's what it says in the title and this may stay it may go there may be another one I find or make myself for a secondary women's title but yeah so you got another than two options if I decide to go with this television title or stick with this one if I keep it or if I decide I want to go to the honor title I could have this one or I could have that one so I got options these are the titles that I had created as I say things are subject to change I was on the right path the train was going smoothly and then it derailed due to them messing up oh not messing up my game but fixing it because they don't want us to mod which is dumb so I'm still on the track and I will get there slowly it'll just be delayed but yeah so as you saw there is my wrestlers there was my sons showcased in the universe mode and whatnot in the divisions as I say things are subject to change so get ready for next year for some WCW Monday Nitro RP where I'm at the commentator desk and sometimes joined by my broadcast partner Chris Carter Sr. and we put on some amazing RP just like I do in my GTA series so don't get don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Later.